I have three IP, four eyepieces here. Uh, two of them are Stargate ED, 12 mm and 8 mm ones. One of them is a 10 mm aspheric, a Sviboni. And this one is a TMB planetary eyepiece, 9 mm. They're close from 8 to 10 to 9 to 12. Or should I say 8, 9, 10, 12. And they're in the range of planetary eyepieces. And we're going to compare them. I've already compared for the eye relief, and I noticed that the TMB for the eye relief is the best. It's more comfortable for the eye. And uh, now we just try to see how they look in the image quality section. This is the Starguider ED 8mm eyepiece. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, the image is not very bright, or it's too washed out, there's not much contrast in it. The clarity is alright, but there is a lot of purple fringe. Of course, this is a refractor sky, tra sky watcher, sky travel uh, AT. Okay, this is the TMB 9mm eyepiece. Visually, I can say that. Uh, is more comfortable to look. Ebony aspheric 10 millimeter, 62 degrees wide angle eyepiece. And let's see how it looks. You can see this 10 millimeter is, is really wide angle. The image quality is better, is clear, more clear, brighter. At the same time, purple fringing is smaller, less visible. So. This is a Starguider ED 12mm eyepiece. Let's look how it, the image quality is. Of course here we have a more pepper fringing than probably than all of them or compared to the 8mm Starguider ED ones. Uh, image is slightly brighter than the 8mm one. Uh, image quality I can say is not in the in comparison to the 9 millimeter TMB or aspheric uh, any better slightly worse uh, MA 12 millimeter eyepiece for the sake of comparison with the others I'm just using this also let's see how it looks uh, okay purple fringing is less than the star guider but the uh, image and eye relief, eye relief is really bad. But the image quality is good relatively. Uh, it's partly because I can put the camera, mobile camera, mobile phone camera on the eyepiece and just take the picture. So there is not much vibration because of my hand or lack of steadiness. Otherwise, not any better or worse. For the sake of fairness, I'm now going to show the Skywatch a Super 10 image quality. Field of view is very narrow. Uh, focusing is, is difficult. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, that's good actually. It goes to a nice focus. A purple fringe is present. The field of view is not very wide, but anyway. It's acceptable, but it's not at the level of the Star Guide or others. Well, a little bit better, probably. Even. Anyway, Vixen Clone uh, Plus or 10 millimeter multi coated eyepiece. Let's see how it compares with the others. Yeah, image quality is actually surprisingly not bad. Of course, eyepieces, you know, that uh, they can be depending on the system you're using, the optical system, the telescope you're using. So in one telescope they may do really well, in other telescope they will not do well. MA 
Image quality is not bad in this one. It's a 9mm plus of eyepiece. And let's see how is the image quality compared to others. Yeah, paper fringe in is present. Uh, image quality is similar to other plusos. Surprisingly, they are uniform. And yeah, that's how they look. Eye relief is not good. You have to really get your eye close to the lens. So if you wear um, uh, glasses, you should really reconsider. Those other ones, the Star Guider and the uh, TMB, were good. Plus, uh, me, the plus all 9.7 millimeter eyepiece. And now let's see how the image quality is. Uh, yeah, I feel that uh, this is not as good as the Celestron eyepiece. Or oh, yeah, it can be compared. Yeah, 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 they are as good. As, they are the same. They are the same. I can say they are the same. Surprisingly, all this range of eyepieces are the same puzzles. Eye relief is very short. I've compared now around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 eyepieces. Uh, some of them are here. Some of them may not be here, but anyway. And now I've categorized them. All the puzzles here. They all are similar to each other. There is not much difference in the quality being me, uh, Celestron, Wixen, or Clono Wixen, and uh, any other brand that you may imagine, or Skywatcher. Uh, the best one with the eye relief, wide angle field of view, and the image clarity is the uh, TMB Optical 9mm, that's from China. Then comes the aspheric, Sfiboni aspheric 10 millimeter one. Uh, Star got the ED 12 millimeter. I was a little bit 12 and 8 millimeter. I was a little bit disappointed. They were not, they didn't live up to the expectation I had from them. And uh, probably on a better instrument or a different uh, focal length, they will do better. Uh, by the way, generally they were better than the puzzles or puzzles, uh, the level of the puzzles. I have to do more tests with these ones on the on different targets and different lighting. This time of the day it was really bright and everything, you, you could see a lot of purple fringing. So that purple fringing was affecting the judgment. All of them definitely had purple fringing. That means that this is something to do with the lighting or the refractor that I was using. But uh, definitely uh, TMB optical is the best, very good for eye relief. Then aspheric, then these two, not bad. Um, that the level of the puzzles. Uh, I have yet to find the merits of them. Why, why they are so popular or so, so good? I have to use them in the night sky and see how they are.